Hi there, and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke, and in this video, we're going to be talking about stepper motors. You may have seen stepper motors before if you have a 3D printer. 3D printers use stepper motors because they require a lot of torque and they also have three different axes to move the 3D printer on. Stepper motors can be used in all kinds of different projects from complex machines like 3D printers or CNC's to some simple projects such as moving something on a belt. But stepper motors come in all different shapes and sizes. Your stepper motor might come with a shaft on it, such as in your 3D printer. Or it might be a small stepper motor like this. Or it might be one of the standard Nemer family of stepper motors. All stepper motors are set up a little bit differently. But in this video, we're going to be using uh, the stepper motor with only four wires. If your stepper motor has more than four wires, uh, you can follow the guide that I'll be leaving in the comments to show the difference between unipolar and bipolar stepper motors and how you can set them up for using with the stepper motor module. Let's have a quick look at the stepper motor module. It's a similar size to the other stackable modules in the M5 stack family. On the bottom we can see the set of pins to connect it to the M5 stack. Then on the side here we have three growth ports for each of the different X axes, X, Y, Z. And then on this side we can see the input for external power. Stepper motors need a lot of power so a single battery is not going to cut it. Also, we supply a fan module which is useful for cooling down the motor drivers which can tend to get quite hot. If we slot these together, we can reduce that heat and bring it out of the M5's case. If you bought a motor which already comes with a Grove cable on, that's good, we can get started easily. But if not, we've developed these Grove connectors that you can solder onto. You'll need to solder the wires of your stepper motor onto these pads. There'll be a guide in our comments how to do that. Okay, now let's get ready to put it all together. So let's have a look at how to connect the motor. Most of your motors will not come with a growth already attached. So we developed this connector which has a growth port on and then you can solder the wires onto the ports. Make sure you solder the wires in the right order. We'll have a schematic uh, in the comments that will show you the right way around to solder it. Then we can attach the growth connector into the port on the step motor module. I'm going to be using X in my code. So I put it into X. Then of course we'll need the brain. We put the M5 stack on top. And then sometimes M5, uh, the stepper motors, if we use a lot of them, they can generate, generate a lot of heat so we're also going to be using this fan module which will also stack in there. Stepper motors can use a lot of power so we're going to need some external power by this AC adapter which has this kind of head on it. So we'll first attach the head into the slot and then plug our plug into the socket. And we can hear the fan turns on. And I'm going to upload my code.
open UI flow by going to flow.m5stack.com. Remember that we need to have the UI flow firmware installed on our M5 stack device. Make sure to watch our other videos to see how to flash that firmware. To start off, we'll go into the step motor blocks and we'll find motor step motor address 0x17. This is setting the I2C address of the step motor module. And then we're going to go and set mode distance. We can choose from absolute and distance. For this code, we're only going to be using the distance setting. Then if we go into motor, uh, then we'll take the loop block because we're going to be looping the servo motor back and forth and add a motor XYZ and speed block setting the X to minus 10 first so it'll rotate anti-clockwise and then set the speed to 300 if you connected your servo to a different port make sure you add the distance amount in the correct X, Y or Z port and then we'll add the timer duplicate the block and remove the minus and then we'll duplicate the timer block and we're good to go this is an easy test of our servo module let's flash that and there we have it what will you do with your stepper motor I hope you'll think of something much more inventive than my project here. We'd love to see your projects using stepper motors and the stepper module. Please leave the com a comment down in the comment section showing us whatever you come up with. Uh, if you have any issues, you can go to our docs and look at the step motor examples there. And we'll see you next time.